Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Raynham Steel, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the vacant WBA Continental Lightweight Championship from the Echo Arena here in Liverpool. Your officials are appointed by the WBA and your three scoring judges at ringside are Dave Farris of the UK, Giuseppe Quateroni of Italy and Philippe Verbecki of Belgium. Your steward in charge is Dave Roden. Your timekeeper at the bell is Andrew East. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Howard Foster of Doncaster, UK. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner with a record of 11 wins, one loss, one draw, with four KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, eight pounds, and tonight he wears the black and white shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from who in Kent, Adam Tingstale. And across the ring in the blue corner, stands a former British champion, a man whose record reads 35 wins, nine losses, two draws, with 19 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces, and tonight he wears the green and black shorts. Please welcome, from Liverpool, Ndere Matthew. will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Come on, Danny. Come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, lads, folks, you both in the dressing room. We both know I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Ladies and gentlemen, there's an intensity about both fighters. They're both in magnificent shape. And with Howard Foster in the middle, who's overseen so many outstanding domestic scraps, this has the feel almost value of a British title fight. Well, Matthew's never actually never lost a British title in the ring. His last, his last fight was defending British title against Martin Gethin. So yeah, it has that feel, doesn't it? And things they are massively underrated, I feel. And this is a really, really intriguing fight. Can Matthew still, you know, can he still claw back some of those glory days? You know, he's pulled out the bag time and time again. How many times can he go into the well? It seems endless with him, doesn't it? Absolutely, and that current run of form that I touched on, where he's beaten Tommy Cole and Woodhouse and then Gethin, it, it's still a sort of domestic who's who. It's still a high level of form you couldn't necessarily argue on that run of results that he's on the slide no, not at all he does look in great nick matthews too but then so does dingsdale he's got those long levers yeah just falling a bit short there old dingsdale just swinging a little bit wildly and getting caught there by by matthews with the right hand over the top and dingsdale you know, to beat matthews you need a high work rate don't you we've seen that again you know, stephen ormond it was like a buzzsaw, you know, that, that sort of style will suit. But I think so, you can't get too carried away, you can't be too too reckless. So that's to keep his shape. And the truth is, Barry, we, we actually have no idea really how good Dingsdale is. The no. cat seemed out of the bag against Ormond, but sometimes yeah. in situations like that, you can just raise yourself yeah, to heights. Yeah, you, you can, that's true, this really is true. And this, this, this fight will go along with this to say, oh, is he as good as we think he, he is, that, as good as he showed against Stephen Ormond? Landed a right hand there, Dingsdale. And certainly against Gethin in May, it was more boxer from Derry Matthews. Yeah, lovely, nice three-punch combination again. Things they'll be in a little bit wild and Matthew's just punching within the body frame. You just wonder about that talk as well. Matthew's in the build that's been talking about sort of maybe the difference in, in levels and putting on a show. Yeah, well, in well, Matthew's been at every level, hasn't he? You know, he's been box former world champions in, in, in Gavin Reese to, to British current future former 
champions in, ev in every shape and form. So he's been at the, at the highest level and competed and won. So he has experience, you just money can't buy. But, you know, you can't, like I said, you can't keep dipping in the well forever. But he started off quite well for me, Matthews, I feel. Closing seconds of the opener. I think still, from the outset, looks like he's going to try and box. How long that lasts remains to be seen. Yeah, well, I think you know, you've got to be plenty mobile with Matthews. You can't just stand in front of him. I think he's the heavier puncher. And the wing away in the closing oh. seconds of the first. It was a lottery there, wasn't it, for both? How'd you score that one, Barry? I just favoured Matthews, to be honest. I think it just his work was a little bit neater. But, you know, it's, it's the first round, it's still a close round. Just feeding each other off. way all the time onto the left hook. Yeah? Finish with the left hook. Don't listen to your box nice then. Put everything off that jab. Everything. Right hand, left hand, right back to your chin. Relax all the centre. Let him do the work. He's the kid. Let him do the work. Every time he comes, little half a step back, left hook, right hand. You finish with a left hook as well. Let him do all the running rounds, but you're moving well. You're moving well. Okay, relax. The jam's the key to the fight. I want us to see him moving. Every time he comes, I can see it, so you can see it. He's moving to the left. What we've been working on all in the gym there. Left hook, right hand. Oh, it's 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 lovely Danny Vaughan, as ever, in the corner with the advice, asking to finish on the left hook and plenty of work with the jab building up to that yeah, it was lovely bit of corner at one if i can see it you can see it and it was that first jab from matthews at the start of the second any risk to the uh, you know those shoulders of Matthews how on earth did he yeah, ever make fair he's just getting massive aren't they <laughs> <laughs> like coat hangers uh. but he's adapted the style slightly from you know because he had so many so much physical advantages and featherweight with the reach and the height but as he's gone up in weight you know he's, he's had to give them away sometimes but he's, he's still managed to, to compete at the level and adapt his style accordingly Nearly timed Dingsdale with a left hook on the way in. Yeah, Dingsdale just can't find his rhythm yet, can he? He's trying to be a little bit fidgety. He's trying to give the impression that, you know, like you said, you've got to be busy against Matthews. Uh, as all show, the high work rate. Dingsdale doing a lot of threatening, but not being able to get his, get his punches off but yet. Just yet. And let's not forget, he's only been a pro three years, Dingsdale. Oh. This, is a, this is a big step up. Well, so the, the, that good performance at late notice against Ormond has almost cap catapulted him up to this sort of level, hasn't it? Where he, where he sort of feels that he belongs. So some of those learning fights now, he sort of had the full go. Oh! oh! It was the left hook. He looks unsteady. Oh, he's staggering backwards and how it crosses a good look. He asks his question. He's actually... Oh, he's in trouble here, I'm sure, Dingsdale. And Matthews is all over him like a rash. Ding still down again. He was more clubbed down, and he still has no idea where he is. His sense is completely scrambled. How Foster lets him go on again. There's a right hand from Matthews. Ding still trying to cling on. And Matthews trying to club away the defence. Still 40 seconds to go. And they both stumble to the ground as the clock ticks over to 40 seconds now. Can Dingsdale see it out? Can he scramble his way through the round? He's done well to fiddle his way through heaven. He's going down a couple of times, even, even throwing himself on Matthews, but the first clean shot that Matthews lands with is going to be over. And there's a the right hand and an uppercut. 20 seconds to go. Still doing the right things, he's holding on, you know, his legs are still unsteady, but he's holding on, trying to survive, trying to get to the final bell. There's another right hand, he almost turns away Dingsdale, and he's on the ground again, but no punch. Howard Foster's another look at him. He almost called it off then, Howard Foster. Shouts of chants of Derry. And a monumental round for Matthews, much to the delight of the Liverpool faithful. But Dingsdale saw it out somehow. You're, not, you're absolutely gone. Unbelievable stuff. It was a cracking left hook. Dingsdale just yeah. threw a right hand and fell short. And it's a lovely left hook there. 
Danny Almost Matthews, yeah, just caught things, I think, on the temple. Just fell a bit short with the left hook, with the, with the right hand, and he paid the price. Really did, and he was really got up too soon, he was on, on steady legs. Guess what, it was the left hook they he asked for. Great, I know, phenomenal stuff. And he punished him as well, I think some of them, he... Going down probably saved Dingsdale the second time. He went down, he won a really heavy shot, almost half a push, half a punch, and that probably saved him. And then he uh, fiddled his way through there, and he did well to fiddle his way through that round. See what, Barry? If he'd have been stopped after that first knockdown, I wouldn't have complained. Yeah, but he was all over the place, wasn't he? I think the whole Foster given the benefit of the doubt. And we'll see what happens now. Was that two, three knockdowns? Two, and one fall. Here we go then into the third. The problem is not for Dingsdale, it is, is tactics and going forward, trying to be aggressive. <laughs> He's not going to be as confident as to do that now. He's going to be thinking about survival more, trying to pick his shots, which will probably play even better for, for Denny Matthews. Amy Matthews feels now he can take a few more chances in this third round. Good job from Matthews again and again. Yeah, he's, you know what, he's not taking any risk, Matthews. Oh, is he? He's making sure he's making sure he got a clear tag before he delivers that jab. Oh, lovely punch again there from Matthews. He's stepping in behind that jab, isn't he? And who knows that the cloud that Dingsdale is fighting through in this third. Well, he don't, he's still not 100% steady on his legs, but you know, if he can see through this round, that might be enough for him. Just to get, his, get, the, get the feeling back in his feet. Amazing how the crowd, the crowd got into that. Well, it came from nowhere, didn't it, really? You know, nothing, nothing much was happening. Things they only made a little, a little error, just fell a little bit short with the right hand. And Matthews you know, swung in that lovely left hook. Nice right hand there from Dingsdale, and a left hook. When they start sort of winging away like that, you fancy it's going to be a Matthews counter that's going to do it. Corner just telling things they're there just to keep moving, not take any risks, just to get. I think they just wanted to get get his feet back on back under him, get com comfortable in his stance, just to see the wrong through, get a breather. But Matthews haven't done much in this round either, to be honest. No, hasn't really jumped on things here like, like we thought he would have. Sort of one or two jabs, but that was about it. Oh, nice right hand there, though. And Derry Matthews, nice one two down the, down the line. Just the, the sort of round, I guess, in a way, things they would have hoped for. No real fireworks or drama. Yeah. Good body shot there from things there. Oh, oh lovely right hand. Took it well, though, didn't he? Having things there. Yeah. That might just be enough there to swing the round in, in Matthews' favour, I think. Listen to me, you're still not doing. Shall we go? He's making you come forward to counter punch. So you're still not listening. Walk yourself to that rope, yeah. put your hands out, let him chuck two or three, wait till he chucks and then look for it. You're lunging at him, but you're still doing it from the centre of the ring. You've got to concentrate, it only takes one shot and you're over some. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Loads of water, Rach, loads of water. Yep. No, drink, drink. You've nicked the round back, okay, and you're catching him. But you've got to let him come at you, but walk yourself back. It may seem yeah. like the wrong idea, but it's the right idea. You've got yeah. to make him make a mistake. Yeah. Go back to that rope, let him touch you, get your hands up, catch two or three, walk away. And yeah. when he comes at you, wait for him, but you're jumping from a distance. Uh -huh. Our whole game plan was to let him come towards us. Jab, walk away, walk back well, there. You can't, he can't go anyway there. Okay? He won't come at you. Yeah. Another round like that, okay? Come, let's go. Let him yeah. come towards you. Come on. Interesting. Really interesting to see here, Alan Smith. Very clear and yeah. specific instructions. Well, he knows his stuff, doesn't he, Alan? You know, and he, obviously he's annoyed and, and Adam didn't Adam Dingsdale didn't stick to his plan. 
He left in no doubt. He's going out for that round. He's in no doubt yeah. what he needs to be doing. Well, to go forward and be a counter puncher is, is one of the more difficult things to do in boxing. You know, to, be, to be a proactive counter puncher is, is, is very few can do that. So you have to. You want to try and lure him on, and they're saying that Matthews will engage. We'll see. He's definitely got his legs back, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. No, yeah. He needs, as I said, he needs just a round just to, just to get that nice, good, strong feeling on his feet. Good shot. And is, is, is Matthews effectively wanting to counter punch his himself? Yeah. Well, Matt, no, because the, the, sh the left hook that put Dinsdale down, what's a counter left hook? The Dinsdale fell a bit short, and Matthews whipped it over the top, so you know, he'll be looking for that. He, he's trying to nick the space there, Matthews. And encourage things to, to, to throw so he can step back, even fall short and, and land again. He left it again there for Matthews. But that's Dingsdale's mistake. It's a little bit too loud. We're wild, losing his shape. Yeah, and little like nod, nods and acknowledgements between the pair. And I think that was Dingsdale that landed in yeah, close. Yeah, well, jab from, uh, from Matthews, but a right hand over the top from Dingsdale. Single jabs from Matthews. Yeah, he's, he, he's not taking any risks. I don't know if he's felt the power from Dingsdale or just feels that you know Dings, he's waiting for Dingsdale to make a mistake. And it's probably the right idea now. You know, I think he missed his he missed his window to jump on Dingsdale in the previous round. So he's just trying to block clever now, Matthews. Not taking any silly risks. Oh, big right hand. Good timing there from yeah. Jerry Matthews. And he uses the reach, doesn't he, very well. Again, it's not much in it, is it? You know, it's just punch for punch, as many said. They're both landing with jabs, or one landing with a jab, the other left hook. But then there's that one two from Matthews, a good right hand there from Dingsdale. Yeah, that sort of levels yeah, up the one that Matthews, know, yeah. Matthews landed, doesn't it? A bit low there from Dingsdale, that left hook. Lovely jabs again there from, from Derry Matthews. Well, I guess the red corner will be quite happy with yeah. the last two rounds. That was a tight one. It was. I, I still, I just, yeah. I just it's Matthews again, I think. Jay. Let's see that's now being the left hook into play now, yeah. See when we're pushing him back and he's on his feet. He can't set himself at all. So let's jab and let's step in with the right hand as well. Jab, one, two. Finish with the left hook as well. Yeah. While he's moving, he's moving under the left hook all the time. See when he's getting desperate and he's coming. Yeah. Time that jab, give yourself that little bit of room and the left hook right hand and wind it up. Yeah? Listen. I don't have to jump around, don't get excited, it's a nice and relaxed, you're moving really well. You're doing well staying in the middle of the room, you're pushing it out. Don't drop your arms, because you get that big swing. You're dropping them hands sometimes, yeah, yeah, sorry, you know, you've got me once or twice. But look, I'm not even going to go on, I'm just saying performance, and I want to go on the middle of the room, so I want to go on the middle as well. Yeah, I don't know. George Vaughan in there as well, alongside Danny. Family corner work for Derry Matthews has very much become part of that family. And this reminds us for the vacant WV Continental title at lightweight, Richard Abril, one of those champions right now, certainly in that division at 135, uh, Barry, where other fighters are starting to look at sensing vulnerability, like we were saying with Liam Smith to Cornelius yeah. Bundridge. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think Abril's showing that much decline just yet, though. I, I, I think he's might be the, one of the weaker, but he's, he's still a, he's still a good operator, still a tricky operator. But it's a fight that can be made because he's, he's boxing on the road, isn't he? So he's a world champion and he's a real fan base. Yeah, absolutely. He's quite tall and gangly like Matthews too. And he's more boxer than brawler. Anyway, that's for another day. No, oh, good jab there again for Matthews. Near the corner saying to Dinsdale, don't be greedy, you know, throw your punches and move away. But and they're right, but you've got to have success with those punches before he moves away. 
Yeah. Otherwise, he's just punching empty space and, and making it obvious when he moves away that he's missed. And difficult to win a fight yeah. clearly on the back foot yeah. like that. But, you know, he's not... He's, he's considering that, that second round, he, you know, he, he hasn't been doing too bad. He nearly landed with the right hand there, too. A couple of nice jabs in return from Jerry Matthews. It was that period, of course, wasn't it? 2008, 2009, when he lost four or five fights, Derry Matthews to Choi and Martin Lindsay yeah. and Scott Lawton, even as well. It was a really tore of time for him that yeah, at featherweight. Yeah. Well, I, I, guess, I guess, you know, they're all good fighters and all capable of beating him anyway, but I guess a lot of us to do with weight. The nice little left hook there for Matthews. The problem is, Dingsdale wants to be the counter puncher, but Matthews is just outweighting him. <laughs> Matthews is, is, is using a tactic that. Dingsdale corner wants one Adam Dingsdale to use. Just giving a high defense, blocking and countering. And I guess in a sense you'd feel Matthews would be the one with the crowd and on home turf that might be yeah. sort of rushed into to doing things too quickly. Well, he's experienced now, isn't he? You don't, he, he, he don't think he'd get affected by anything like the crowd anymore. He'll stick to his plan. Is that another low one? Yeah, it was a low one, but Matthews landed with a nice little left hook of his own. You can see there was about a minute ago, he thinks they very nearly walked on to yeah. a little short left hook as well. That punch is still there. I think Danny Vaughan was saying that in the previous break. Well, to be honest, up until now and before those few knockdowns, things they didn't have any trouble with anything that Matthews had thrown. But it's the jab for me that's been the difference. And when you know that one punch is there for you, as we come to the end of that uh, fifth round, does it? It, it can become possessive, I suppose, in, in a way. Is it? Yeah, you, you have, have become a hindrance. Yeah, if you're, if you're okay, successful, so stuff, you just keep if doing it, won't you? Why, why wouldn't road. you? Not once touch that rope. Let him come in, just tuck up once or twice, let him make that mistake. Yeah. He overreaches slightly and then you just counter him, okay? Yeah? yeah. But what you've got to do is let him chuck, let him chuck that left hook, catch it. Sorry. Okay, ready? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? But I can't shout anymore. I'm going to get fucking kicked out because you oh. ain't listening, son. I've listened now, I'm trying. Well, you ain't because you're going you forward. Me, hi, hi. Take your reach. time, now nice and loose with it, okay? Whatever it is. He's got, listen, you'll catch him, but you've got to be a little bit careful with it, yeah? yeah. Okay, come on. Things down. Go backwards. Yeah. Come on. You ain't boxing it, but you're <laughs> just getting caught by silly shots yeah. because your hands are too far apart. Yeah. Slip that single yeah. shot jack, okay? Yeah. Go back up Well, the that was Alan, Alan Smith and, and Harry Andrews in the corner. Do you know, uh, we've, we've got... Coogan and, and Held are on a Wednesday now, a new show on Box Nation. What about Arnie and Allen? Oh, that'd be classic, wouldn't they? Really would, them two. They have their own little comedy show. Arnie, like, um, Arnie Satan, Parnell. They'd be like Satan and Greaves in the boxing world. <laughs> Absolutely right. Here we go then, into the sixth. They were, they were saying to Chad and Dingsdale, and Harry, Harry Andrews said, <laughs> Dingsdale, go backwards. And Alan Smith was saying, I've not seen your back on the ropes once. You know. Yeah, they were, uh, well, you usually think, why would you want to put yourself back on the ropes? It's obviously a tactic they've been working with. But he's getting beat in the, in the centre of the ring when they are now. He's getting, he's getting beat, not by much, but by enough. And it's been the jab for me, for Matthews. That, that's been the better. That's, you know, that's, that's been stealing some of the rounds. I think the fourth one was pretty close. I give that to, I give that to Matthews just again because he landed with a few better jabs, solid jabs, stepping behind it. And Dingsdale's work just been a little bit wild at times. That's good. Nice little short right hand from Dingsdale. Yeah. Stepped away. Maybe should just step to the side, stay close to the body. Combination from Matthews, but things they'll block him most of those who's credit. Not the jab there though. That's better footwork from things they'll just circle him. Matthews changes direction. Oh, lovely jab again. On Matthews. That's the difference again for me. It's the jab. Every time. Oh, caught him again with the left hook. 
every once in a while, it, whether yeah. it's through frustration or technique, Dingsdale just sort of swarms launches, in, yeah, doesn't he? Launches, he? launches himself, doesn't he? Yeah, and leaves himself a little bit exposed. Good one two again there from, from Matthew. It's just because Dingsdale just punches a little bit out of, the, out of his body shape, a little bit off around the target, and Matthews is right down the line. And they just get the punches just getting it first and making the better impression. He's actually always been a really good straight puncher, Matthews, he, when he, he wants to. He's doesn't well, he? he's well schooled. That's what he is. But Dingsdale's a good little boxer. He's just not getting away with some of the things he probably would have success with because he's just a little bit wild. That's a good left hook, though, from Dingsdale. Yeah, Matthews was lunging yeah. there, wasn't he? Reaching. And Matthews just uh, gives him a look and a stare as if to say, you're in my town now. And Is Matthews in control yeah. of this? I think, he, not, not massively, but I think he's just doing enough every round. He's, he's dictating a lot of things with the jab. This is where Dingsdale had a bit of success. He just backed off. A little bit. Maybe she just took a step around, around the body and just carried on working away. But I think, yeah, for the most part, for me, I think Matthews having a better success with the jab, and and all the rounds are pretty close. But I'm just thinking Matthews is just nicking him, nicking him. Except for the second, of course, which is a huge round. Step in and step out. He's got to keep building on it and bring something into it all the time. Let's see you now with a long way to the other side on the head. Chop it down. Here we go then, second half of the fight into round seven. And Derry Matthews seemingly in control. I thought the fourth was tight. I actually give the, yeah. the fourth to Dingsdale. Fourth, but and, and, and the fifth even. And even the first was it was a was a round you could have given up either way. So it could, it could be a lot closer. I've just like I've just liked Matthew's work a little bit better, but he just kept his shape a little bit better for my preference. I think that's in some of those close ones. That's what it is, it's what your preference is. That's fair enough. But it don't look good on the scorecards. On my scorecard for, for Dingsdale at the moment. But who's done tremendously well to not just only just be in there after the second round, but to be competing. In each and every round. That's good. Lovely. That that injection of pace there is what he should have been doing a lot earlier. All of a sudden just exploded with faster faster hands. Rather than just trying to push the target, he let his hands go. And actually, this is this is a different style, these are different tactics to those we saw yeah. that were so effective when he was involved in a really yeah. good fight against Ormond. So maybe this is counterintuitive for him. Maybe this is difficult for him yeah, to do. Yeah, of course do. it is. If it's not your natural instinct, you're fighting against yourself, aren't you, all the time? If you want to go forward, if you're told to go back, you're fighting your natural urges. A couple of whistles from the back of the, <laughs> the, back of the hall. Well, they want to see a tear up, don't they? Well, they start winging away at each other yeah. in the middle. Do you know what? Things they landed with the more punches, but the, the better shot was from Matthews. Nice little uppercut. I can see what, what things they'll corner on about. Just give, just give yourself a little space. Just wants to give a little, little space to regroup. Good right hand there from Dingsdale. He's having a bit of success in this round. Matthew's been out for been out for five months. Of, of course, he did perforate an eardrum in that victory over Martin Gethin, and that put the the Flanagan sort of fight on ice, or potentially out the way for now. The British champion, of course, from Manchester. And everything that Derry Matthews keeps saying is about you know world title tight tilt. And yeah. I guess you can understand at this stage well, of his well, career. Yeah, he's been around long enough. If he can get the opportunity, he's going to take that. At, every day of the week, isn't he? And that's got a counter left hook there again from Matthews. Coming on strong now at the end of the round. Good right hand again. Just a bit more urgency from yeah. Matthews. He's thrown more right hands this round than 
but, but I think for the most part of this round, it was a well, good right hand to finish the round, wobbling Dingsdale there. Did he? Yes. Yeah, it did, yeah. But I still give the round to Dingsdale. I think he had the better work for three quarters of the round. You're too and you're a bit of time. Right? He's hating them with it, man. I want to see you bring the right hook into play. You start from the jab, the left hook's working, the right hook, you're through three, and you're there, you wobble them again. You're a bit of maybe time. Well, Just breathe. Suck it up. Breathe. What are you doing? Suck it up. You're doing brilliant. Suck it up. Look at me. Just breathe. Just relax. The right hook, I want to see more of it. I want to see you tuck that left hand right back to your chin. Back on the jab. Just let him do all the movement. Just walk and relax. And pick it out. He's moving on to the right hook now. Because he's worried by the right hand. Here, the left hand. As he comes across, jab. Right hand. Right hook. More of it. And Finish with that left hook every now and then. Let him do all the running around. He's not liking that jab now off you. He's not liking that jab at all off you now. Just suck it up. Relax. Never throw sometimes. Just relax. 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 Bring the right hook into play was the advice from Danny Vaughan. And it just seemed a bit more intense second half of that round from Danny yeah. Matthews. As if he maybe felt, a, you know, a, a change in the, the sway. Well, I think it's a round, a round that he lost. I think things that was on a, a really good round. The, the last punch of the fight of the round, a right hand. I just think I thought I seen things that legs stiffen just a little bit. Maybe not. We'll, we'll find out. I just got a feeling Matthews thinks he can really stamp his authority on this now. We'll see. Well, you would have thought he would have done that in the third round. He would have went all, all guns blazing because he had, had things that hurt, really hurt in the second. But he's been patient, Matthews, taking his time. You know, had a few close rounds, but for the best part, you know, he's, he's had the better. And obviously, without a huge second round, he needs to you know, respect the scorecards. They're all going to be in his favour. Good jab again. And if that's been a weapon, that's worked for him well tonight. Is that jab and the left to go over the top. Good jab there from Dingsdale back, though. his height well Matthews yeah, he does he sits on the back foot so he, so he just leans forward when he jabs got a good, good balance he's quite flat footed but he got good balance things they'll do the right things now he's moving around change direction a little faint before he throws his punches both landing with good right hands yeah there's another the left side the left from Matthews when it was a right hand from Dingsdale mm. Minute to go on the eighth. Matthews not quite been able to land with the, the big right hook this round. Well, he's been the busy, hasn't he, Gingsdale? That's for sure. Had the final 30 seconds then of this eighth. Yeah, anyone can grab this round though, can they? They just stamp their authority. That's not a 30 from either one. And Matthews can't catch up with Dingsdale this round. Well, this is the tactics that Alan Smith wanted from the first round, isn't it? But they're moving, circling, fainting. But is it enough for the judges? Is it a little negative? Tight round though. Yeah, another tight round. Look at me. You net back in it now, but that's all you have to do. He's got one chance. You know, you're nicking these rounds. Yeah? What's round? Nine, yeah? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four rounds left. Yeah. Deep breath, suck it up. He's getting so frustrated, and when you stop and he laughs at you, you want to have a fight. <laughs> Kids have a fight at the playground. Box is box, kid. Yeah? Yeah. We worked for this long, 157 rounds of the gym, and you've been taught to box on your back foot with this kid. Yeah. And when he wants to trade, tuck up, take two steps out with your hands up and go on your bike again, OK? Yeah. Nick another round, and then it's getting a bit more level. Come yeah. on, yeah? OK? But you've got yeah. a nick around. You don't understand? But you straight away, you meet him in the centre of the ring. Yeah. You go out and you go on this side and go left to right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? You got it in your legs, you're a young man. Come on, up you get. Up you get. Ah. 
Here we go then, into the ninth. We heard Alan Smith doing the maths. He thinks he's nicking a few of these rounds. Yeah, well, you know, well they've been close, haven't they? And they have, you know, you could, think you could, you could argue that he was nicking some of the rounds. I think you've been getting in some of the rounds that I haven't, to be honest. So you know, it's been nip and tuck some of them. I gave him the fourth and the eighth, and they were those sort of two tight rounds. But otherwise, what have you got? I think I've got Matthews by six. He, he probably got it by seven or eight. What's that? No. We need the Alan Smith calculator. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I got Teddy Matthews a street ahead, that's for sure. And that second round is, is pivotal at the moment. I suppose it's the sort of fight that Matthews has to win and Dingsdale can maybe learn from. Yeah. But he's, he's built, you know, the energy has increased, hasn't it, from Dingsdale? The movement, the. the the fidgety little movements, trying to you know, stop Matthew from setting himself for that, that big right hand. Got to keep moving his head though, Dingsdale. If he wants to keep avoiding those jabs of Matthews. They're, they're the shot, no, they're such a good weapon for Matthews, isn't it? It's a clear shot. It's an, was it with a footwork there of Derry? A side step. It's a solid jab, it's a solid punch from Matthews. It's not just a range finder, so it, it's a clear scoring shot. Good shot there from, from Dingsdale. Got a bit of rhythm in his work. Final minute to go in the ninth. Sort of got the balance a bit yeah. more right this yeah. round, yeah, still, isn't he? He's fidgety, he's moving his head a lot, and then he's sort of stepping to the side and throwing punches. <laughs> Didn't move his head then, though, that's no. a good one two off Matthews. And a good right hand landed, big straight right there from Derry Matthews. Again, see your Matthews, he punches inside his body frame, Matthews, he turns from the shoulders, from the waist. He doesn't lift his elbows up, doesn't punch outside his frame, so all his work's neat. And the judges will like that. Yeah, some hard rounds to score as they touch gloves at the end of that one. Well, I think things still outworked him. Even though I think Matthews probably landed with a, with a better shot, I think it was the work rate that came forth from Dingsdale. He was closing the gap. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but he's closing the gap. There were some of the slightly untidy exchanges yeah, up close. Keep them on sight, so because this kid's desperate. He's got to knock it in. out to win, so you just be careful, because you're trying all the time. Okay, listen, yeah. keep it tight, don't let him get any ambition at all, give him football, and let's just go back to what we know. We want to see you wait this way, and when we're going to talk, let's just snap him. I want you to let him. As he comes back, he wants to see him. Then there's Yabba, but not that the man is again. Keep them on. Here we go then into the tenth. Derry Matthews, perhaps comfortably in front, perhaps not so. Oh, lovely shot. Certainly the crowd have gone quiet, Barry, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why. It's gone midnight. Don't worry about it, the clocks will go back. <laughs> we'll, we'll gain an hour. <laughs> oh, it's a little 
Quite got a few low blows from yeah, Dingsdale. Got away with that. I think Hal Foss has seen it, but he's seen he was on the protect and let it go. And I, I, to be fair, I don't think it's not deliberate, it's just mistimed. He's going to tell him now, I think. And if he kicks a point away, that's the end. And Matthews hasn't complained, to be fair to him. He's not that type of kid, though, is he, Matthews? A little smile there from Matthews. I think just sort of annoyed a little bit. Well, to be honest, I think, Math I think Matthews, you know, even though he feels he got to be all good left hook there from Matthews, well timed. I think he got up his work a little bit. Yeah, Matthews. I think still holding on there. A meaty body shot from Matthews as well. Clubbing right hand. Trying a bit of everything. It's good for Matthews. Whoever's, whoever's holding, because Matthews is trying to work with the, with the one hand. He's going to get the blame. And some heavy shots from Matthews in up close. Well, that's slightly at odds, but <laughs> Dick Steele's beckoning him on and saying, let's fight, and he's twirling well, away. To be fair, Matthews won't commit himself, will he? I don't think any risk, he's too experienced, he knows he's been set up for some sort of play. And I think you have to be honest, I don't think Dingsdale could expect to win the fight necessarily no. with this approach. No, not at all. But he's picked up a few oh, good right hand there from Matthews. He's picked up a few rounds over with these tactics, yeah, to be sure. fair. Good jab from Matthews. Yeah, I think he'll struggle to get out of the way of that punch, hasn't he? he just let his hands go a bit this round, Dave Matthews, yeah, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, just a little bit. Again, it's been another close round with, with the tactics of things still trying to be busy but and, and plenty of moving, but when he's when he's held his feet, Matthews has had landed enough punches to give him that round, I feel. Would have been a good shot if it was a six inches higher. <laughs> but you know, to come back from the second round that he had, things there, where he was all over the place. Let's get it right. Oh, he absolutely. Really was. You know, he was, you wouldn't like you said, you wouldn't, you wouldn't blame the referee for stopping the fight there, there and then. But he's come back and he's fought his way back into the fight. He's still a mile behind because of the knockdown and some of the earlier rounds. But he's fought his way back in, won a few rounds. And he's made it competitive. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All things told, the uh, uh, up in class, desperate start, out on his feet. It's probably a minor miracle he's still in there, yeah. Adam Dingsdale. And without the knockdown, it's, it's, a, it's a closer fight, isn't it? But for me, he needs, he needs, a, he needs a knockout to win, to be honest. Here we go then, into the 11th. Well, this one, Denny Matthews versus Adam Dingsdale for the vacant WBA Continental title in the lightweight division. Oh, good shot there from Denny. That's one, two. there from Matthews. Things still trying to keep the head moving you know, and he was having a very success with it but then I think an uppercut from, from Derry. It's a change direction, that's it. Things still just a little puffy under each eye. Just a the sign of the Matthews jab throughout. She just nice combo. Yeah, the well, Kingsley have done a similar sort of combination earlier, but the, the weight behind the punches is, you know, is, is all in Matthews' favour, isn't it? So sometimes he punches through the guy, but Kingsley doesn't. <laughs> Matthews just missing with the right hand.
Alan Smith might be a little hoarse in the morning. <laughs> Okay, I'll just overcommit themselves there and take a left foot. He landed with a jab. He took a better shot off, off Matthews. And Matthews is really, really st stuck to his part, hasn't he? Hasn't overcommitted. Oh, big right hand from Matthews. Closing seconds then of this penultimate round. I think there's a sort of feeling now that Dingsville have done well to last the distance. Yeah, well, the sort of the tactics are not a bad idea. But I just think the reason that I give the front to Matthews is because Dingsville are looking up doing plenty of moving, the right sort of idea, trying to spring in with the attacks. There wasn't enough behind the punches, and they weren't clear enough. And it's only by margin. If they would have been a little bit more clear of the shots, he would have nicked that round. But for, but for me, it was Matthews' round. And Matthew just needs to stay on his feet now. Just the weight beyond the shots, that's the difference, isn't it? And he's also been seen to be doing more throughout yeah. the fight course, as yeah. well. Yeah. Not much more, to be honest. You've got to be truthful. He's been very economical himself, Danny, hasn't he? Yeah. 180 seconds is all it yeah. is. But yeah. you do get stopped by swinging away with him. Let's try yeah. and nick the round off him at least. Come yeah, on, yeah. come on, come on. on there, your is, toes. there is an element of self preservation in that advice, Barry. Well, of course it is. And well, he's been hurt, so you know they know. And well, they come back from that knockdown. But nicking the round, and, and that's what, that, what Alice Smith wants him to do. And I understand that. But to nick the rounds, you've got to have a flurry of, of clean shots, and I don't think it should be in the rounds that I get the Matthews. Just don't be, it hasn't been enough clean punches from things there. That's, that's, that's all it's been. So the tactics have been right, the right, the, it's been the right tactics. You just have, I think they've just fallen a little bit short. But to come back from that second round, just, just to go the distance, has been tremendous. Really has. Here we go then, 12th and final round. Terry Matthews well on his way to taking another step towards a potential world title tilt that he so craves well, to, to be honest Derry Matthews you know, he's been professional hasn't he tonight you know, he's, got, he obviously he's mega experience he hasn't taken any silly risks against an awkward opponent with, with, with you know contrasting tactics from the first two rounds to the last like, sort of seven we've seen and then the moving away all of a sudden and, and Derry hasn't taken any risks kept his shape kept his shape and just only thrown when he knows he can hit the target and we saw that most notably Start of the oh, as they trade blows. The start of the third, where you know, some might have expected him to really launch and, and, and get all over. And he, would have, and he would have, and maybe he's just thinking, I got to keep. You know, I'm, I'm not a spring chicken. I used to be. I need to keep him in reserve. He's only 31, but he's been boxing for a long time. So you know, I mean, he can't be having wars every time he steps into the ring. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be and 12 he, years in January that and, uh, he and, made his yeah. debut. And he boxes. He's boxing like a man who knows that. Much has happened oh. since that night in Preston for Derry Matthews. Things they'll commit themselves, you know, trying to but I'm the, I'm the walk into a shot, and that's what his corner didn't want him to do. Well, as ever, he sold loads of tickets, Derry Matthews, and plenty of people on the far side of the ring. His fans are on their feet, just proffering their advice and fingers crossed that he comes through this last minute or so intact oh lovely jab lovely wasn't it that, terrific I, that's been his, his best weapon for me look at this he'll revert him back to what he wants to do now and have a war people watching Adam Dingsdale tonight who, who might feel this is the sort of fighter he is when when actually yeah. there's, there's another side to him as we've it's seen he's an exciting fighter but they are attacking to win the fight so that's what that's what they wanted to stick to well Derry can punch can he you know so and we've seen that in the second round so he's only you know, he walked under he fell short being aggressive 
He just hasn't done enough. Trying to nick the wrongs, I think it, it hasn't quite worked out in my eyes. There goes the bell. Now they hug each other, and I suspect they both know uh, there's surely only one result here. Shouts of Derry, Derry, they were much, much louder midway through and at the end of the second round, that's for sure. Yeah, but it can only be one winner, can I? Let's be honest. But things there will come again. I think he will. I think, you know, I think he's a bet it's a better fighter than what, what we've seen here, I think. But he's come up against an experienced guy in Derry Matthews, who, 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 you know, who knows the game inside and out, didn't take any silly risks, didn't overexert himself. They've stuck to a planned box, you know, a, a real professional fight. And Derry Matthews out the ring. Fist pumps and congratulations to friends and family ringside. Matthew Macklin with a baseball cap on. Like Matthews hoping he's just a short skip back to world title contention. Well, you'd like to think that's a that's a steep and, and useful learning curve for Adam Dingsdale, who did well to recover from that well, incredible second round. If anyone if anyone has shown that defeats mean nothing, it's this guy here, Derry Matthews. You no, know, he, he had he's come back from setback, we're on setback, and he's come back and not Mrs. only you no know, one fight, but won Joe. titles. And who would have thought, no, that, that Denny Matthews would have won a British title last year? You know, you never, you would never, you would have almost written him off all the wars he'd had. But he comes back, he regroups, he reinvents right. himself. So Adam thinks they'll learn a lot from that. Yeah, good point. Let's get the official confirmation from Mark Burtis. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard and we have a unanimous decision. Judge Paris, 118-108. Judge Verbecki, 119-107. Judge Giuseppe Quattratori, 120-106. The winner in the blue corner from Liverpool. And now the WBA Continental Lightweight Champion, Derry Matthews. A landslide victory wide on the scorecards for Derry Matthews, who takes care of business without necessarily creating the fireworks bar that incredible second round, and he continues his amazing journey. Well done, Alex. Alex Stephen and Barry Jones, your ringside commentators tonight at the Echo Arena on the banks of the Mersey. A landslide victory for Derry Matthews. Um, Adam Dingsdale, uh, Steve Lillis went the course but but i have to say i, I was slightly mystified by yeah. his tactics he, he was instructed to fight on the retreat which meant he, he went the distance but had no he, chance of well, winning the fight he was going on the retreat but he wasn't throwing anything at all when he was no. going on the retreat and, and derry just knew he could all center him flick out the jab and take the rounds i mean personally i thought the referee could have stopped it in the second round from the first not then it would have been a good stoppage but look things that recovered from that and saw through the 12 rounds he's he's trying alan smith just said it was just experience but it's just when he went on the back foot he just didn't throw anything. If you go, you can win going backwards if you throw plenty. Sure. And Derry could just hold centre ring and won as he's pleased in the end. And you know what? All the wars Derry's had, that's most probably the easiest win he's had in a long, long time. Well, I guess we anticipated yet another war here. There, that there was a flurry in the second round, and the longer the fight went, it was almost inevitable it was going to go the distance. But Derry lives on. That's uh, 47 fights. And do you still think he might just get a crack at a world title? Because a world uh, champion might just look you, at him and go, you, I'll have him. I'll have him. You never know. I mean, they're, they're you know, I heard he was close the other week. If um, Abril def successfully defended his title in Finland the other week, Richard Abril, the WBA champion, uh, the Finnish guy whose name escapes me, who um, ran him pretty close. I'm told if the Finnish guy won, Derry might may well have been the first voluntary. So there's, al there's always hope, you know. But you know, my, there's Terry Flanagan, the British champion. I don't know if Derry wants to go there. You know, there's plenty of fights out there for him, but it's make making them. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a world title fight. Would anyone deny it? We know the career he's had over the years. It's hard to think he's still only 31, though, Jim. He's still only 31. He still gets tingles before every fight. And I guess we'll have a word with him in just a moment before before we leave you. But I guess deep down, he might be slow.
slightly disappointed when he had those two knockdowns in the second that he didn't finish it off. Well, I'm not disappointed he didn't finish it off. I think he might have been disappointed that Howard never stopped it. You know, it was, it was a strange one. Um, I, I was convinced he was going to stop it. You know, we got, if we're going to give um, Dings now some credit, it was the way he recovered from that. And, you know, you know, maybe he will come again, but, you know, he's, 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 he's going to have to wait for his chance now. OK, we can have a word with him, with Derry Matthews. Yeah, thanks very much indeed, Jim. Steve Lillis described that as possibly one of your easiest wins. I made it easy, and I made it easy down to the, the training camp I've had out on MGM Marbella. Danny, pff, people don't realise the, the hard work we go through out there, me and Danny and then Seamus with his lads, and, you know, we've got Taff out there who, who works me into the ground, my conditioning. You know, people, they were saying tonight I was an old man. I'm a 31-year-old in my prime. I've just done 12 rounds of quality boxing with what I jabbed his head off. I don't think I've too many right hands, and I was in, under instructions of this man, Danny Vaughan, and, you know, if he would have told me to get, pick it up and go for him, I'd have gone for him, but, listen, I'm, I'm happy to get the rounds, and, you know, people said I was finished, I, I'm a bit over the hill. I'm up, I'm, to me, I'm in my prime, and I've got a new team who's, who's pushing me in that way. Do you wish you had stepped on it, though, in the second, because you had quite a long time when he, once, once he was down? Yeah, I went a bit gun shy and then I looked over to Danny and he was he was he was telling me and scheming at me and I'm under instructions. He had the game plan. We had the game plan from from eight weeks ago. What to do? The left hook. People in the changing rooms who just been in there were saying how good I was throwing my left hook. And Danny said, as soon as it lands, it'll go. I've been sparring ten rounds with Peter McDonald, who to me is a, is a, is a little warrior, he's a little bull. Keeps coming at me all day. I was hitting him with some ter terrific shots, but he kept coming and you know due to that sparring. You know, when I get in with someone my own weight, as Adam Dinsdale, they'll feel the power, and tonight I think he did. After Dinsdale recovered, tremendous guts to recover, great recovery by about round four. Were you surprised he didn't go at you a little bit more, Derry? I just spoke to his corner then, they said they were happy just to get him through the 12 rounds. He was an honour to share the ring with me, and listen, that kid's only a pup, he'll come again. You know, he will, he will come again, and do full credit to him, he got up, he showed guts. He's got a great team behind him, Al Smith, who I rate as a great trainer. He's got, you know, they're all super fit, and... You know, I think his fitness got him through tonight, but, you know, people were saying I'm just a, I'm a brawler, I'm a fighter. I won the ABA title with the best club in the world, the Solly, by boxing. And, and that's what I've done tonight, Danny got me back to me boxing in the gym and everything. And tonight it showed that, you know, I, I, I'm back and I, I believe that I'm the best fighter in Britain. Forget the 40-odd fights, he's boxing again and he's back. Jim, it's back to you. Yeah.